Hi, and welcome to another exciting episode of Lane's Trains. Today, the weather is crap. It's grey and horrible. I shall now show you said weather. Out there, yeah, pretty minging. Grey, boring, horrible. Oh, and there's a flag. Gives you a clue what country I might be in. Anyway, good thing about weather like this is, it's great for going in the loft. Because who wants to go in a loft on a sunny day? Right, without further ado, let's go. So, here we are. And there's our wee choo-choo with a couple of coaches and the 3F. And some wagons. Right, that's just a bit of irrelevance to keep us going. Oh, my wee light seems to be working over there. Um, so, we'll have a wee waffle about what I have and haven't been doing. Hi. Hmm, short circuit, thank you. Okay, never mind, I'll fix that in a minute. Um, right, I've patched a big hole that was there that I just bit hadn't done in the... In the ceiling. <laughs> Still got a little bit to go. Yeah, okay, quite a lot. Uh, what else? What else? What have we done? Uh, I did replace that point that I took a loony tuna and snapped. I've still got to stick a motor on that one. A point motor. But, on that subject... Aha! Oh, this lot is wired up. Now, I am using these switches these days because I got fed up with them. They're great because you can tell which way the point's set because it sticks, yeah? But they're not the most reliable of things. Um, sometimes you hear it going click, click, and it's kind of gone back and forward itself. And, and also, these wee pins that go in the back... Um, let me just show you, like, ooh, these little affairs, so they should be like attached to wire there, can you see, aha, that's better, is that better, anyway, they stick in little holes in the back there and they have an awful habit of falling out and where's the point not working, nah, 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 nah. Um, so, okay, in the back side, so I have um, oh, just, just don't know why that short circuited, but um, hey, there we go. Let's dump our tender. Let's just dump it. Yep. Okay. And uh, all the work I put into you, you little git. I fixed you and polished your wheels and ah, right. Stop! 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 Right. Oh yeah. There's my thing in the bobber again. Uh, HM six thousand hooks up to that. Blah blah. Brilliant. I couldn't write this. I couldn't write this. I couldn't actually plan that. Crash! Hee! <laughs> oh, give me peace. Right. So these points. These points. Uh, switches. Right, so let's see. Oh, you hear that? I just shows you that worked. So, something tried to move there because I flicked the point and the power is still on that. Do free do. Actually, I don't know why something tried to move. So I think it was this great monster here. This, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Dapple. Mm -hmm. Pendolino. Well, and that shouldn't have tried to move because that points it the other way. But if it's... Uh, that shouldn't have tried to move. Never mind. Point is, these things, although you can't tell which way it's set, I've got it wired such that if in doubt, I push it up and up is safe or straight especially on the main line sort of thing so 
yeah, if in doubt, up. The other point things I've got over here is do exactly the same thing, green and red push buttons. So red is set to safe and green is open, if you like. Those ones are all over, over, over there for the swap track affairs. So each of those green red buttons is wired to both that and that, for example, because you never want to open that without having that open. You follow me? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Over there, we've got a bursted bit of track because I had to renew that point. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I've got so much to do up here. And sometimes I really can't be bothered. But, three days off now. He that shall must be obeyed is, is at school. So I have a, a chance. A chance to make some progress. And make a video because you love it. Okay. Um, anything else just now or I should... What shall I do? What shall I do? Apart from re-rail those catastrophe over there. What shall I do? Okay, um, I'm going to have a think about it. I'm going to theme of this. Oh, here's another thing. I had some old Meccano sitting about. Oh, God. It's been sat about for about 50 years. So this beam here, you can see, is at a funny angle. I thought, I'll make a wee shelf. So it's not the most beautiful of things, shelving wise, but it does a job because I need enough room. Not enough room on these shelves for all these thousand coaches. They used to live down here on these sidings, but now and then I want to clear them and oh, I don't know. Do you not find that you can think better if you can see straight? Yeah, okay. Right, enough waffle for now. Let's uh, get on with it. Okay, here's what I've done so far. Uh, excess bit of wood I've shoved in here, right? I've put a wee band underneath it, I'll just show you. A bit, just trying to tidy up all this extra stuff. And being me, I don't like chucking stuff out, but I do like kind of tidying up. Question, why do these little light things keep falling out? They keep falling out. Um, right, try to look at the camera and I don't have eyes that point different ways. They keep falling out, which is kind of annoying. Right, oh, specs. In. I'm not aware of any massive collisions, but they keep falling out. Anyway, that truck's been there for a while. Okay, so I've done that. Tidied up a wee bit. Not much. Where's a drill? Um, next. Right. My project is to get on with it. So Beardy Pal gave me this point motor housing thing, right? Now, because some of my points are side-to-side -side affairs, and some of them are back and front affairs. Um, how do I explain this? I have to have different kind of motors for each one. Now, what I've got to do over here, you see, is finish that one, put a point motor there, which you can clearly see is a back front one, so it needs a point motor like that. And uh, that one there. So that one's got one, but it's not wired up yet. This one I'm going to have to find one from somewhere. Um, why was I doing that over there? I can't even actually remember. But it was... Ah. No, I can't remember why I was doing that. Um, this, this is a bit scatterbrained. That dumping its tender I stuck some car weights underneath the tender underneath so that's I kind of cured that um what else what else right without further ado we'll just get on with it eh? I can't 
can't remember why I was going to do that thing over there. Right, let's get on with this fairly. Right, on with it. Oh, I'd just like to mention what a headache this is. <sighs> I had it all going bloody bloody blah, it was back to front and then I realised this thing wasn't working anymore because while wiring up there, I pulled up the under the wires under there and I'm not very big but I don't fit right under there to fit those wires again so I had to solder another bit of wire and twist it together, whatever I did blah 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 to so I could actually fit the wires, put it back together, that went buzz it didn't blink and work, I couldn't understand why it wasn't working I thought, took it all to bits, actually touched it on the terminals over on the controller there, works fine so I'm putting it all back together, rewiring it and see if it bloody well works Hey, right, you tell me, it works you tell me, those, both those points you see should move Ready? Go. Oh. Hang on. Does that work? I don't actually know. That opens. I can't see from over here. Right. Both closed. Open. Why is that thing not working? Right. Check it out. Check it out. I know the wiring's a bit of a looking mess, but after much humming and hawing, it works. Watch this, folks. Hey, hey! So that involved completely renewing that point more. I think the whole actual point motor was bent um, and that's why it's been a bit of funny. Also sort of double sided tape and a bit of cardboard underneath the whole base of that wee housing unit and yeah that's that. Yeah. So now we shall ceremonially clip the top on. Da da da. Hey! And then they will hide the wires and blah, 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 blah. And hopefully that's the end of that. Right, back. Eventually managed to get this stupid thing wired up. It seems to be working. Only when I put the roof of the hut on, I think there's a wee pin here um, that is hitting the roof. So, extreme violence. <laughs> right. And this is what's going to happen to people who don't like, subscribe, or comment. Okay. <laughs> right. I'm with it. I'm with it. That's it. So, now what's going to happen soon is that wee bit of pin that I cut off is probably going to end up in some engine and short circuit and I'll no clue why. Right, hopefully you go back on now. On your wee hut thing. And then you just, it's just stuck on with double-sided tape and some cardboard and stuff. I know you can't see this because behind me. Right, keep Mr. Cameraman, keep the camera on there, on that wee hot thing. You want to go on quite close. Wibbly wobbly. Eh? Uh, number, which one was it? Four. Let's see, please see you're going to work. Did it move? I'm on the wrong one. Which one is it? Oh, this one, right. No, no, do you know, see the thing by the hut? That's the thing we want to see if it moves. Both moving. Result. Right. Um, now, that's that. Back over here. And before we, 
before we um, conclude, I am going to... By the way, I started this video this morning and... I'm not too close, you want to scare people away. Um, I started this this morning and it took me all day faffing about with that thing. But I'm going to show you in a second after. We're just going to run these trains again, see if they're working, like, whatever. Uh, connect. Right, blah, blah, blah. Um, come on. Uh, control. You going that way. On. Where's the wee gun not working? Right. Nudge. There we go. Not again! As you can see, it's dumped the bloody wagon again. Huh? I'm not bothered with that. Right, never mind that. I'll sort that out later. Right, stop. Stop. Right. What I have done today as well is. I got this, this is a circuit diagram of um, that double O electronics chappy that one of my subscriptions. Anyway, it's, right, let's just face it. I don't know what that thing is. That's a capacitor, that's a diode, blah, blah, blah. Basically, it's made a, a stay of light, light for a brake van, right? That's what his video is. If, Anyway, I don't really understand what that thing is. Um, I don't know how to get a super capacitor, blah, 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 blah. But what I have taken out of this is this bit here. Long story short, I've replicated this here. Now, I know it's not very well done, it's not very neat, but I was experimenting because I've never done this sort of stuff before, right? Uh, ignore that, uh, hand, hand, hand. Ignore that thing there. That doesn't work. That's it's a capacitor. It's got about as much use as a fart in a spacesuit. Um, but uh, if I can just show you this, basically what this does is, dude, can you do me a favor? Can you film this a wee bit? Right, so you get the battery and everything in. So what this does is, we can get all this crap in. Get it so that the light's in as well. That's an, is an it? No, the light, the LED. No, no, the whole thing. Go back so you can see. Right, see the whole thing. Right, so LED should only light up one way. Now, can you see? Are you filming how I swap these wires up? Uh -huh. We got that. We got that. Both ways. So there we go. Right. Go back. Go back. See my pretty awesome face. Tonight's beverage, Bino. Straw hat. Nice stuff. And on that positive note, I shall end. <laughs>